Hello and welcome to the next video. In this video, we're going to create some ortho mapping products using our frame camera imagery. In previous videos, we've loaded the frame camera imagery into ArcGIS Pro. We've created tie points and ground control points and then completed the block adjustment. We're happy with our results, so now we're going to create some products. Along the work bar at the top, we are moving from left to right. And now we're at this product stage. Here we have three options. We can create DMs, both digital terrain models and digital surface models. We can create ortho mosaics on their own, or we can use this custom button to complete two of those. If we click on one of these options, we'll get the wizard open on the right hand side. And if we need any more information, we can click help and we'll come to this page that tells you all about what's happening and all the different settings that could be used. If you haven't already seen this, I strongly recommend you come over to this page and have a look. It makes for some interest in reading. Okay, what I'm going to do in this demo is I'm going to use the custom button to create both a DSM and Ortho Mosaic. So you simply click on the custom button uh, and you'll get this product generation wizard open up on the right hand side. For this demo, I'm going to interpolate DM from solution points, and then I just go through the various stages. You can click next for all of these, however, uh, and you can run it with the default settings, or you can change your settings to see how it affects your products. I'm going to auto rectify the images using the DSM, and you get a little warning box at the top telling you that because the DSM may be smaller than in the entire block, your resulting ortho mosaic will be smaller as well something to bear in mind. Here I've selected mosaic candidates and there's some parameters in there. You can try it with this box checked and without. I'm going to accept all the rest of the defaults and hit finished. Now I've already processed this once so let's have a look at the results. Here we can see a DSM has been created, and this is a digital surface model. We can see it doesn't cover the whole area, and it's only used two of the images, so it might be worth running this again with some different settings. We've also produced an ortho mosaic that covers the same area, so again, just the DSM. We can then switch over to 3D view and see what those look like. So. I've copied both of those, I've clicked new local scene and created a local scene. Here we can see that imagery draped over the DSM. So as a 2D layer, I've added the ortho mosaic and as a 3D layer or a ground surface, I've added the DSM. I've turned off all the other information. So we're just looking at the imagery draped over that DSM and not Esri's World Elevation 3D. This is very useful for seeing the lay of the land from the imagery that you've taken. Remember, this digital surface model has been created using photogrammetry in ArcGIS Pro. Because it's a digital surface model, man-made features such as the bridge uh, aren't raised up. However, it's still useful for seeing the lay of the land elevation changes from hills and vegetation. Okay, that concludes this workflow. So thanks for listening to this one. In my next demonstration, I'll create some uh, a stereo product using the same data. Thanks for listening again. Uh, feel free to work through the workflow. And again, just have a play with those different settings read the help files and see what can be done. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for the next video.